Sherlock Holmes, a brilliant detective with a keen eye for detail, is known as one of the most popular fictional characters of all time. Who created this master detective? The answer lies in three men. One is Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Another is Dr. Joseph Bell. And the other is Dr. John Watson. Before he showed his remarkable ability to write detective stories, Conan Doyle was a struggling doctor living in London in the late 19th century. He had few patients, so he was often short of money. Detective stories were becoming popular during that time, and Doyle wondered whether he could write them as well. Therefore, he began to put pen to paper, and finally his first novel, A Study in Scarlet, was published in 1888. Conan Doyle's character Sherlock Holmes was so popular with readers that, eventually, this famous detective appeared in 56 short stories and four novels. Sherlock Holmes only exists in the stories, but his characteristics and personality are actually quite similar to those of Dr. Joseph Bell. Dr. Bell was one of Conan Doyle's teachers at the University of Edinburgh, and he always used logic and reasoning to analyze what he saw. This had a significant influence on Conan Doyle's home stories. For example, one time a man walked into the classroom where Bell was delivering a lecture. Even though Bell had never met him before, he judged that the man was a soldier from the proud way he walked. In addition, Bell was almost certain that this man was an army musician because he was short. When the man denied this, Bell could tell from his accent that he came from Scotland. Then Bell had him take off his shirt, and the man had a tattoo of a small blue D on the left side of his body. The mark was given to soldiers who tried to flee from the army. Consequently, it shows that Bell was correct all along. There is no doubt that Sherlock Holmes is clever. More importantly, he carefully observes people and uses reasoning to solve mysteries, just like what Bell did with the soldier above. Moreover, Holmes always tries hard not to let emotion cloud his judgment. Dr. John Watson, who narrates the pair's adventures, also lends Holmes a hand with his cases. In the stories, the two friends live at 221B Baker Street, which became an actual address in London in the 1930s. Today, there is a Sherlock Holmes museum on Baker Street. It is attractive to fans of Holmes because they can get more information about the great fictional detective. Even though you are not in London, you can still pick one of Conan Doyle's books and enter the world of Sherlock Holmes. So, next time you are admiring Sherlock Holmes, don't forget the three men behind this master detective.